Hi, today's question is what pattern of inheritance would lead a genetist to suspect that inherited disorder of cell metabolism is due to defective mitochondrial gene? Imagine that uh, we have a female and we use always circle to uh, designate female and we use square to designate male and uh, we have affected female and this pair would have children and all children no matter of the gender would have uh, would be all affected so far we cannot tell anything yet because it looks like uh, for example this disease is just dominant but the next generation uh, would tell us and give us a clue. For example, this affected male when marries an affected female and all the children 100% um, would be unaffected. So, and this also means that we can exclude dominant inheritance, but when we have, for example, this female uh, situation when she m marries unaffected male and they, this pair would have children of different gender and once again all the children would be affected. So uh, we see that this disease only inherited in 100% but uh, it's only inherited if a female affected, so all her children would be affected. But when uh, affected male marries an affected woman, 100% uh, of their children would be unaffected. And once again here, an affected male when marries an affected female, and uh, this couple would have children of the different uh, gender. Once again, all the children 100% would be unaffected. But here, uh, for example, here, this couple will, may also have three children. And as long as uh, one of the affected parents is male, and all the children would be unaffected. But here, if his sister marries an affected male and they would have uh, no matter how many children and no matter what is the gender of the children 100% of them would have this disease and uh, this uh, metabolism disease so why this happens and for the genetist uh, this is information that this is mitochondrial uh, connected disease and we see that female here would produce 100 percent uh, of the affected uh, children and for example here we see and here these two males that were affected would produce in 100% uh, normal or unaffected uh, children. Why this happens? And here is an explanation. Imagine, for example, that this is Excel and Excel has a nucleus with 23 chromosomes and here is a sperm and sperm also has 23 chromosomes and also this is in the Excel this is not the only one set of the chromosomes because uh, Excel also would have many different nutrients and um, mitochondria and mitochondria uh, also have its own genome it's very small it's only 
37 genes and uh, mitochondria dependent uh, in many cases on the proteins produced by um, cell uh, or on the other genes that is present uh, in the nucleus. Uh, so there is also many other different organelles, uh, egg cell much much bigger than sperm cell and sperm cell only contains uh, chromosomes uh, inside the head and doesn't have any uh, mitochondria but in order to move uh, of course it has mit mitochondria but only in tail so uh, mitochondria present only in tail and uh, actually when sperm penetrates uh, penetrates the egg it sheds its tail so it stays uh, outside and mitochondria that is present in the tail doesn't penetrate the egg so this is explanation why affected uh, males can have uh, unaffected children but uh, all affected females would produce in 100 uh, percent affected children at, at the end I want to tell you one uh, story uh, that is uh, related to what I told you today uh, just few years ago there were a couple uh, where a female were affected so uh, they know that all the children that they would produce would be affected so this couple uh, and here is an egg cell that is has uh, uh, affected uh, defective mitochondria but normal normal uh, uh, nucleus uh, they used uh, normal donors egg cell uh, whose own uh, nucleus were removed and nucleus of this woman were transferred to such denucleated uh, egg cell and then uh, this nucleus were fertilized by sperm of her husband and this uh, nucleus contained of course normal uh, mitochondria so uh, this parent uh, donated uh, 23 chromosomes this parent donated 23 nucleus chromosomes and this would would consider third parent also donated 37 genes of mitochondria so normal healthy child were produced that had uh, three parents two female parents and one male parent so this couple were able to escape such situation when uh, defective mitochondria uh, means 100 percent percent that the progeny the children would be also affected so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel new videos uh, almost every day goodbye